a lot of us forge our conclusions <clears throat> about things, whether they're good or bad, whether they're true or false, whether they're memorable or not, based on how, you know, a specific circumstance that took place affected us as individuals and our situation in that moment. Okay. So another example I'll give you is if your workplace went on a strike today, right? The only thing it'll show is where you stand as far as your personal bias towards unions or employers. And how are you going to show that? Right? Whether you show up to pick it or you don't. It's that simple. You see what I'm saying? So you show up. The minute you showed up, then that means you know you drew the line in the sand. Like you know which side you're standing on. And if you don't show up, all those people who showed up know exactly where you stand. Now we have a divide. <laughs> right? So through our actions and how this impacts us. And guess what? I'm going to show up because I know I need the money to pay my bills, to take care of my family, for example. Right? And the other person might not show up because they feel like, no, it's wrong. And they're going to protest and be like, nah, I'm not going there. I'm not showing up because this is where, what, I, what, what I believe. And so because you believe that, those who show up might look at you differently. But again, the impact level differs from person to person, right? Circumstance to circumstance, location to location. So this is why it's important to recognize that. I want to use the, the chocolate bar as an example now, right? It's a good thing when you're hungry. So if I'm starving and that's the only thing that's available to me, it's a good thing, right? But it would be considered a bad thing if you're somebody or, you know, if I'm trying to lose weight. You see what I'm saying? So we have different vantage points based on what it is that we're looking at. And this is, this is the key thing. We need to be aware of this. Now, a lot of us spend time trying to convince other people to come on our side of the line and so forth. But you have to consider the fact that the impact of this thing differs from person to person. So as much as I might want you to be on my side to support me, I have to recognize that your reaction can and may be different from mine just because of how this thing, you know, this situation is going to impact you. Right. So you may not be able to stand beside me because it impacts you more, you know, greatly than it would me. And so that's why I might come to this conclusion and decide for myself, you know what? Mm, not for me. Right. So be aware of other people's situations. Yours cannot be theirs. Right. And people don't make evaluations or assessments and decisions based on, you know, intelligence or logics. It's really based on, you know, how they respond to the facts and how it impacts their feelings, right? How these facts are triggering their feelings. And that's what they're going to react based off of, right? So if somebody's hungry and they, they can't seem to find any food somewhere else, they're going to settle for what it is they can get. The fact is that they're hungry. The other fact is that they can't seem to get food where they're standing. But across the street is where you're standing and you're eating your tacos. <laughs> Guess what? These are the facts. You are across the street. You are eating tacos. And they are hungry. They can't seem to find food anywhere else. And you're the only person in sight with food. Guess where they're going to walk towards? You. They're coming towards you. Right? So we need to understand the impact of these facts in our environment will prompt and trigger feelings and reactions. All right. Next thing I want to throw at you. So the new question is this, just so we can kind of move forward. What is a fact? I kind of alluded to it, but what is a fact? Right. A lot of people try to debate using what they call facts to support their position. Um, but I question if people even have any idea what a fact is quite often because, well, guess what? 
Today's the day I'm going to try to break it down for you. It's really that simple. A fact is merely information that the, I guess, the interpretation of is agreed upon by a larger population. So that means if there are 30 people in a room and, you know, there's a party happening, let's say, and there's a punch and, you know, 28 people in that 30 say, you know what, the punch is not that strong. There's barely any alcohol in it. You're, you're going to be all right. The other two in that room are outnumbered. Right? So even though they drank it, they're like, ooh, there's too much alcohol in it. But the other 28 believe there isn't enough. Guess what? It doesn't matter what the other two think. And that's where the facts come in. Right? So the 28 determined that the fact in that scenario was their alcohol level was little. Even though that was not true for the other two people. Right? Now it's being considered a fact because the larger population deemed it that way. Right? They said this was the truth. So just a bit of a sidebar. I guess if you tie in history, whoever told the story or whoever said the narrative about any particular groups, right, that became the fact. So when people argue about historic, you know, um, moments and, and things like that of that nature, or even sports, they're using numbers that other people deemed, you know, to be the truth. A larger population said, yes, this is the truth. This person is the goat. This person is the that. And that's what made it factual. But you still have individuals who say otherwise, right? So just to move on from that, now you understand what a fact is, right? Popular opinion is basically a fact. It's flawed. <laughs> Very flawed. But hey, this is how humans function. So the most of what we have deemed and continue to deem factual Right. Most of what we have already said as facts and continue to say it's a fact is because more people agreed. Right. To that narrative. Right. During that specific time in, in you know, moment in time. So it doesn't make it all facts true. I mean, all facts can't be true, but it is something worth considering and processing as you, you know, get into debates or conversations with people who are trying to throw facts at you. Right. So this is something that you might want to share with them. And say, hey, I got a new perspective on what a fact is. I didn't know this before, but now I know. So check it out. And that's why you send them to the pod. <laughs> you see what I did there? All right.